Systemic high risks for physical and psychological abuse, as well as sexual harassment. The Human Rights Commission's report identifies a dysfunctional win-at-all-cost culture in gymnastics. That create an environment where athlete safety and well-being are not prioritised and consequently where abuse and mistreatment can thrive. A sport where child abuse was and is allowed to occur. Things like physical abuse and medical neglect as well as physical assault and sexual behaviours. Former gymnasts have welcomed the report but say they're still suffering from years of abuse. PTSD and anxiety, depression, low self-worth, abusive relationships. And it's not just the past. The report found gymnastics' current practices create a risk of abuse. I'm being called by parents of gymnasts who finished 18 months ago and are still um, being exposed to this exact types of abuse. The Commission has recommended independent investigations into all cases of abuse, but the former gymnasts want more. There needs to be redress for athletes who are affected by the abuse. The report called on the sport's governing body to acknowledge past abuses, and today they did. Gymnastics Australia unreservedly apologises to all athletes and family members who've had any form of abuse participating in our sport. But Gymnastics Australia couldn't say why that systemic abuse was allowed to go unchecked and who knew it was happening. Some of these questions I can't answer. What I can tell you is that what's been reported in the report and what's been reported in the media is unacceptable. The report will be a vindication of sorts for the gymnasts who know that their voices have been heard and today they received an apology. The next step, though, could take much longer, an investigation into potentially hundreds of claims of abuse. David Mark, ABC News.